Okay, for in this question, it's given that a ball is thrown vertically upward from the top of a tar and with an initial velocity of 90.6 meter per second, the ball reaches the ground after five seconds. We have to calculate the height of the tar and velocity of ball reaching the ground, that is before it hits the ground. So this ball is thrown vertically upwards from the tower. So let's say this is the tower from where the ball is thrown upwards. Let's say this is the top. Okay, now <clears throat> it's thrown with the initial velocity of 19.6 meter per second. So initial velocity is 19.6 meter per second. From here, the ball is thrown vertically upwards. This is initial velocity, and when it reaches its maximum height from here, the final velocity would be zero. Okay, let's consider this as the path one. And from here, the ball, it falls back to the ground. And it takes a total of five seconds when it is thrown from the tower till it reaches the ground. Okay, for this one, it's given that the initial velocity is 19.6 meter per second final velocity would be zero for this path but this one and let's use the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s <coughs> which will give the height or the path traveled by the ball till it reaches its maximum height so final velocity is zero Initial velocity is 19.6. Acceleration would be negative g and we will calculate s. So this is negative 19.6 into 19.6. This is negative 2 into 9.8 into s. This is negative 19.6 into 19.6. Negative, negative gets cancelled. So I'm going to take that off. So this is equal to 2 into 9.8 is 19.6 into s. This gets cancelled. So the distance traveled till the maximum height is 19.6 meter. So this distance is 19.6 meter. Okay. <clears throat> For this distance, we can also calculate the time. Let's use the equation v is equal to u plus a t. So final velocity is zero, initial is 19.6, acceleration is negative g, that is negative 9.8 into t. So this is negative 19.6 is equal to negative 9.8 into t, negative negative gets cancelled. So t is equal to 19.6 divided by 9.8. So this is 98, two, that is 19.6, this is two seconds. So for this path one, time taken is two seconds. So here time is two seconds. Now let's consider this path. That is the second one. So here the ball is coming vertically down and the final velocity for path one will become the initial velocity of the path two. And we have to calculate the velocity with which it hits the ground. So acceleration in this case would be g. Okay, now the total time taken by the ball to till it is thrown from the tower till it reaches the ground is five seconds. And for this path one, it's two seconds. So that means that path two it's taking three seconds. So from for path two, that is from the maximum height to the ground. It is coming with a total with a time of three seconds. So let's use this equation here. V is equal to u plus at, which will give us the 
final velocity acquired for path two. This is for path two. <clears throat> so we are here to calculate the height of the tower. Now velocity of the ball reaching the ground would be V is equal to U is zero. Acceleration is G and time is three. So velocity is G 9.8 into three. So that is equal to eight three is 24. And 9 is 27, 29. This is 29.4 meter per second is the velocity before the ball hits the ground. Okay, now we can easily calculate the distance for path 2. So for path 2, we can use the equation S is equal to ut plus half ut square, and we can find the distance. So distance s is equal to u is 0. So 0 into t is 3 seconds, half into g is 9.8, and this is 3 squared. So s 0 into 3 is 0. So this is half into 9.8 into 9, which will give us this is 4.5. And the distance, if you multiply 9.8 with 4.5, so 9.8 into 4.5. That should be 44.10 meters. So this is 44.10 meter. Now this distance that is path two is 44.10 meter. And this distance for path one, that is this one is 19.6 meter. If we subtract this total distance, uh, that is a distance traveled by the ball for path one from the path two, that should give me the height of the tower. So, height of the tower is equal to 44.10 minus, this is 19.6, 19.6, and 44.10 minus 19.6, that should be equal to 24.50 meter. So, 24.50 meter is the height of the doubt. So with this we are done with this one. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.